Hey folks, James Gladwell here from Adventures in Internet Marketing and I want to share something with you today which will help you to increase the speed of your site and also at the same time make your site more functional. It will increase the, the functionality of your website and allow you to do things which you perhaps otherwise wouldn't be able to do. Now I'm talking about a WordPress site here so if you have a site built on HTML, sorry this is not for you, but uh, many people now have sites that are created with WordPress and so this will help you to uh, increase the uh, the functionality and general effectiveness of your website. Incidentally it's worth noting that the speed of your website now counts towards how well you rank in the search engines. So if your site is particularly slow, uh, you know, it doesn't really load very quickly or it has too many elements to load on one page, then generally speaking Google will look down upon that site and not rank it as well because it runs slowly and therefore doesn't give a very good user experience. The whole thing that Google has done, particularly with its most recent updates, is to make sure that the user experience is paramount. So as a result, you as the person with the website need to start thinking along those lines as well. And Jetpack is one way in which you can help yourself to do that. There's also other plugins which I'll talk about another time to help you speed up your site. Uh, the first thing to notice with Jetpack is that it's connected to WordPress.com. The reason this is great is because you're basically using the power of WordPress.com and what's known as a cloud feature. You're using that in order to increase the speed and effectiveness of your site. For those of you who are not in the know, cloud computing or cloud hosting basically means that it's a type of server which has much more capacity than a regular server would do. It works in a different way and can expand to uh, meet the needs of the people who are using it. So if you have one person using the site, then you know the cloud is relatively small. But if you are able to get you know hundreds or even thousands of people using your site all at the same time, the cloud can expand in order to meet the needs of those people and those people won't notice any slowing down of the speed of your site which is wonderful. Now cloud hosting is quite expensive but the cool thing is here you're able to latch on to the cloud hosting at wordpress.com and use that to run the features from Jetpack which is that's what's really good. Now there's things on here like uh, WordPress stats, there's uh, Jetpack comments, you've got things like subscriptions, uh, a contact form and what I'll do is I'll just go through some of these just to help you to understand what they do and why I use them. In fact let me start uh, at the bottom of Jetpack and you can see that the uh, first thing that I've got active on my site is a thing called enhanced distribution. What this does is it goes and actually shares your content. Whenever you post something new, it will share that content over the WordPress network and will also go and let the search engines know that bit quicker. Again, because the the post or because the detail is coming via WordPress.com, it has a bit more a bit more clout really with the search engines and a bit more clout with many of the other services that they syndicate to as well. So it's a very useful feature and it will go and spread your word instantly to more people. I've noticed that my traffic has gone up every time I post something new. Uh, the traffic goes up to my site and it goes up more than it would normally without using this feature. So it's definitely worth doing that as it will increase the traffic to your site um, as long as you've got it active. Incidentally, uh, alongside the enhanced distribution, you'll also want to use some of the sharing options as well. And the sharing options are great because they allow you, again, to add more elements, more social media elements to your site. So down at the bottom of the page, you will see uh, every time you post something new, if you look at the bottom of the page, you'll see there are sharing buttons put there by the Jetpack plugin. Now, again, if you're using a plugin already that does that, then you can get rid of that and instead use the sharing options within Jetpack. Uh, now, personally, I use both. I use the sharing options here, but I also use a plugin called Dig Dig, which is just wonderful. Um, it's D-I-double-G, D-I-double-G. -G. So it's a fantastic plugin which actually gives you a floating bar down the left-hand side where people are reading your post, and down the left-hand side of that post are all the sharing buttons and those buttons float down the page as people scroll down. So I use that and I also use the sharing options from WordPress.com as well via Jetpack. And the only reason I do that is because I found that it converts better and I get more people sharing my content by using DigDig. So again, that's another option for you to use. You can use either one or both of those things. So uh, that's one thing to do. Another thing to go, to go for is things like the sharing options um, using Jetpack Comments. Now Jetpack Comments again allows you to share the word across various different networks. The difference here 
is that you're actually giving people the opportunity to sign into your website and leave a comment using either their Facebook or their Twitter or their WordPress.com account. Again, this means that you're spreading your message across various different networks and people may hear about you who wouldn't otherwise hear of you because that person will have signed in using their social media account and then their friends or their followers will have seen that they've written something because it will come up on their wall or because it will come up in their Twitter feed or, or whatever. So as a result, again, you've got that kind of interaction where you're spreading your message over the social media networks and you're getting, I would have thought, more traffic as a result. Uh, this is something I'm still testing, but it's worked pretty well so far from what I can tell. So again, that's another useful one. Something else you want to go for, again, is the publicize uh, part. Uh, this is literally a new feature that's just uh, been added to the site. So what you can do is go and activate that uh, at the time of recording. Anyway, it's, it's a new thing. And what it means you can do, again, is that you can syndicate your content over to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and various other networks as well. So every time you go and publish a new post, it immediately goes and gets posted on your wall or gets posted in your Twitter feed or any other place like on LinkedIn, for example, which again just means you're spreading your message out across the networks. You're getting links back to your site, uh, which again gives Google the, the nod that you're doing something good. And at the same time, it also spreads the word to people who otherwise may not have heard of you or may not have kept up with what you're, you're doing. Uh, another thing to look at as well is the contact form. Now the contact form is wonderful because it allows you inside the contact form within Jetpack allows you to go and create a contact form wherever you want to within the site. So on the create page uh, you know, when you add a new page, you can actually go and there's a, a now an icon that will appear up next to where it says upload insert so normally it would say upload insert and then there'd be a little button where you can add all kinds of media whether it be an audio file or a, a, a picture or uh, a video or whatever you like whereas now there's also that button but there's also a button for a contact form again this means you can get rid of the two uh, plugins that I was using before so whenever I talk to people whenever I was coaching people prior to Jetpack I would always say to them you need to use a, uh, a plugin called contact form 7 and then you also need to get really, I think it's called really simple capture, which works with contact form seven. And uh, what it does is it adds a little capture that people have to type in in order to actually send the message and it just prevents against spam. And obviously contact form seven puts a contact form on your site. My problem with contact form seven is it was really clunky to use and took me a while to get used to. Whereas uh, the contact form here is really, really cool. Uh, what I'll do actually is I will just talk you through the uh, page that I have it on on my uh, my blog adventures in internet marketing on the contact page but like I say you can add a contact form anywhere you want on your site now the bonus about being able to add a contact form anywhere on the site is the simple fact that you can have that that contact form go to anyone you want to so you have if you have an outsource team or a, a support team or whatever you can simply get them to have uh, their an email account that's set up for your support needs and then you can tell the contact form to actually go and uh, you know send that message directly to that person so you don't have to deal with it it goes straight to your team and they can deal with it so the uh, the contact form itself is up like I say where it says add a custom form next to upload and insert and you can simply go and add that custom form and decide exactly what you want to um, to go within that form so you can add extra fields um, you can go and you know tell the uh, the form where the email notifications are going to go to uh, what the subject line of the email should be when it arrives at that email address and also like I say add loads of extra custom fields to give you an idea I've just sold a website which was within the entertainment market and it was somebody who had an offline business who was using a WordPress site and uh, they bought a site from me which was doing very well within that niche already. The cool thing about it was that we were able to customize the contact form immediately. They wanted to add things like uh, how did you find out about us, you know, how did you uh, find the information about this particular uh, act, this particular bit of entertainment and they added that form or added that field rather to the contact form. I could just do that literally in a few clicks just by clicking on add new field, label the field 
and choose what type of field it would be, whether it be a checkbox, a drop down menu, whether it be a, a text area, you know, a website field, any of those things. And they're just dead simple to do. And this means you can get rid of the Contact Form 7 plugin or any other plugin for that matter that you were using before to uh, create a contact form. Again, just means it streamlines your site and makes your site uh, a lot more uh, you know, user friendly and a lot quicker to load as well because the contact form is coming via WordPress.com as opposed to you know via the, uh, the 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 server that you're currently working on or via any kind of clunky code like the one with Contact Form 7. Don't get me wrong, Contact Form 7 was great, but it's been usurped very much by the Jetpack plugin. So go and get yourself Jetpack. The one last thing that's really great about Jetpack, there's there's so much I could talk about, but just quickly, the one last thing that's great about Jetpack is the simple fact that it works alongside WordPress.com and so therefore WordPress.com can actually update the plugin whenever they want to so they will give you loads of updates so for example a recent feature that's been added is something called Photon which allows you to get the images from your site and actually put them onto the WordPress.com uh, server instead of putting them onto your own server and your own hosting account. As a result of that, it's fantastic because it means the images will load an awful lot quicker. And again, it means your site will get faster, which again is good in the eyes of Google and also just good in general for your user experience. Even if Google didn't exist, you'd want your site to load quickly regardless of that because you'd want to make sure the people got the information as quickly as possible. So again, that's another useful feature. And the thing is they add to these services all the time. So you could well log in like I did today. And already, look, you can see if I go up to where it says jetpack there is a number next to it that says number five which means there's five extra features that have been added things like the publicize feature and the post by email feature which means you can now go and post just by sending an email to your website and your website will publish that post how cool is that anyway that's the jetpack plugin and that's how to use jetpack i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you want to go and find more information like this head over to adventures in internet marketing.net you can also check out the videos that are on the youtube channel which is uh, youtube com forward slash I am adventures uh, I am as in internet marketing and adventures as in adventures so uh, yeah youtube.com forward slash I am adventures and also you know feel free to follow us on Twitter adventures in I am and uh, we're on Facebook as well facebook.com forward slash the internet marketing blog all right I look forward to speaking to you very soon via one of those channels see you later